The new facility is to make sure that we can meet all our clients' requirements. We'll have a far bigger area for them to store their vessels that are in repairs and maintenance. We'll have a road tanker place where we can store all the road tankers, service them, grid blast them, paint them and get them back onto the road as soon as possible. It'll also enhance our manufacturing facilities where we'll have a clean area of under 1,800 meters crane and we'll have a separate area for heavy fabrication and medium fabrication all under heavy cranes. We're expecting that we can start moving all the heavy equipment in machinery, lathes, etc. and rolling machines in around about the middle of April and we hope to be fully functional by the end of April. The facility is on a 21,000 square meter land uh, with 7,000 meters under crane and we've got another 600 meters of painting and grit blasting area. The offices are around about 600 square meters. The short term um, strategy for the company is to basically consolidate our local customers, to look after our local customers, give them what they need, partner with them, make sure that they get the equipment they need on time at a good price with good backup. That's critical to the business. We really have to make a big effort. I mean, we want to make a big effort. We're putting a lot of money into the facility to make sure that we give the local guys the best that we can give them. On the long-term side, once we've basically consolidated our local business, we want to start exporting. Particularly, we want to export into Africa. We think there's a major opportunity for us. Again, we see that lots of equipment is imported from Europe, from the States, and we can see that there's no backup for that equipment. It arrives in Africa. When something goes wrong with it, we eventually end up being the guys that go out into the different countries in Africa and repair this equipment. So we want to make sure that we can give, again, a good service to clients in Africa. And that won't be just in the cryogenics field. We're looking at the pressure vessel, heat exchanger, vacuum type equipment. So that's where our long-term goals are. And we're very confident that we can give a good service to the African continent.